Welcome to Draw Fee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Karina. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Julia. Hey. Huh? Anyone know what time it is? Uh, uh, it's like no. 2.30, I think. Approximately. My watch is in the bedroom. Okay, first of all, that's incorrect. It's 2.45, and you know what that means. What does it mean? We have to record an episode. <laughs> Oh, dang. It's a good thing we are recording an episode Yeah, we, right yeah. Now. we started recording. Yeah, that worked I out got really a mic well. In my hand what do you guys think out? we should make the episode about? Hmm. Maybe like fish? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so like fish. So today's Wait. episode <laughs> is a Yu-Gi-Oh episode. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is anything. I feel Yay! so hurt. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh characters. You gonna they're, give they're them? fish. They're not. Well, some of them are. Yeah. You, you gonna give them? We gonna draw them? Yes. One of my first episodes I hosted was a Yu-Gi-Oh character episode, and that was real fun. And I feel like I did a poor job because I was nervous and didn't know how to host an episode. Here's your redemption arc. Yeah. My redemption arc starts today. The computer <laughs> decided it didn't like the screen recording. Yeah, anyway, not only did so. we record it twice, but I did over explain the characters in my excitement. So... Today, I'm just going to give you Yu-Gi-Oh characters and a few details about them and see what you think they look like. I love that. Should we all put our hands in and then have a big smiley face drawn on all of our hands? I mean, we can, but it's no the, one's going to see it. It's the mean? mug. It's the droppy mug. <laughs> yeah, the droppy mug's drawn on all of our hands. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? We'll be like, if we work together, there's nothing we can't do, team. Oh, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh Gang. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's all oh. a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. Yeah. No one said it's time to did it did it did it did it draw. Yeah. I even asked what time it was and everything. <laughs> I thought you were gonna What? <laughs> uh I wanna... we collaborate here. <laughs> I wanna draw Nathan. Yeah. Gotta bark up the usual well. I'm gonna give you a character who I really, really love and is near and dear to my heart. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy them. I'm sorry. His name is Tyranno Kenzan, okay. also known as Tyranno Hasselberry in the English dub for some reason. <laughs> and I'm so delighted berry. to find out today for the first time that in French, his name is Davy Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's good. And he oh. is from Yu Gi Oh! GX, okay. and he plays an evolution deck. That's all dinosaurs dino evolving. Guy. He's, He's a, a dino, dino, guy. dino guy. He's a dino, dino man. Guy. Dino guy. A really fun part of Kenzan's backstory mm-hmm. is that before he came to Duel Academy, he was actually like hospitalized after a rock slide d- during an archaeological dig. Okay. And like his leg got all hurt. And it permanently damaged his tibia. And so... Oh, no, my tibia. (laughs) They used a dinosaur bone that they dug up at the dig to replace it. That, so that's not how he's that got a di- he's got actual dinosaur parts. Yeah, he has actual dinosaur parts, and um, he yeah. goes around claiming he has dinosaur DNA in his body. Dino DNA. <gasps> I guess he does. Have <laughs> he de- he de- he's not wrong. <laughs> dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm Davy Cricket. I'm Davy Cricket, <laughs> and I'm full of dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm gonna banish you to the shadow realm. <laughs> have you? seen that clip or did you just nail that on accident (laughs) uh i mean that's that's the way the dna talks in In jurassic park jurassic park i can't tell if you if if, did is that how he talks um does he talk like the dna from jurassic park is this some sort of deep like reference i never knew because i haven't seen jurassic park it must be. There is a lot of uh, weird impressions in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX in the English dub. <laughs> That's probably what it is, then. God damn it. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> well, because he, he talks kind of like a sergeant in, in the English so dub. So it's more like, Dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> Julia, say Dinosaurs. 
dinosaurs. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Dreams. The one thing I find really cute in the Japanese is that he has like a lot of the characters in GX have weird verbal tics, and his is that he puts little dino uh, suffixes at the end of his sentences, like Saurus and Don. <laughs> He'll be like. <laughs> I'm going to banish you to the shadow realm of Saurus. Yeah, exactly. It's really cute. I love him. That is really cute. Wait, what's what's this guy's name? Tyranno. Dave, Davy Cricket. Hasselhoff. <laughs> okay. Cause Hasselberry. Because apparently there's a Davy Cricket that used to be in some dinosaur and kid cartoon called Beanie and Cecil. Beanie and Cecil. Beanie and Cecil. I'm looking at the, a newspaper with Davy Cricket in it. The references that happen in any Yu-Gi-Oh series run far <laughs> too deep. Davy is Cricket. The thing. He's wearing a little vest and shoes and hat, and that's it. That's him. Yes, yeah, him. <laughs> oh no. I want to see Davy Cricket. He looks like a serial mascot. Is he a cricket? <laughs> Uh, here's the thing no <laughs> here's the thing no he's like marvin the martian he's what just a naked heck? little man <laughs> he's yeah he's like a naked little rat guy another fun part of the dinosaur dna thing is that in season four of Yu Gi Oh gx the main antagonist is uh, essentially the concept of darkness itself and it kind of like fucks with people and takes control of them by like amplifying their dark emotions depression <laughs> We're talking about depression. <laughs> and it gets to Kenzan by telling him that he was a dinosaur in the past life and the <laughs> bone in his leg came from a dinosaur that he had eaten when he was a dinosaur. <laughs> wow. Well, why does that make him evil? <laughs> yeah, wh why does that hurt him? No, it just makes him sad. <laughs> why does it make him sad? That's so beautiful. Be happy about That's the that. circle of life. <laughs> It's like, I thought I would be a vegetarian as a dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. And also at the end of season two, Kenzon helps stop a satellite that uh, was going to be used to brainwash the entire world by astral projecting into a dinosaur <laughs> and flying into space. What? Why can the dinosaur fly into space? Because. What? Well, fair it's enough. Fast and Furious <laughs> rules. <laughs> Put a lot of tinfoil on him and Does launch he, like, him in space. No, he can astral project into dinosaurs before he attempts that, or is he just like, let's give it let's a go? Let's give it a try. He just thinks he's a dinosaur really well, hard. The evidence supports it so far. Yes. He's the only. I love him. He's he's a dino kin. <laughs> yeah, he's the but original dinosaur one. kin. Yeah, a but legit he dino kin has dinosaur DNA and can actually project into a dinosaur. <laughs> he's the best. I love him. He's such a rap scallion. <laughs> a raptor scallion. Hey, there it is. <laughs> We've done it. You've done it, Nathan. Um, this is a fun take. Yeah. I'm just He's trying got the dinosaur to, spikes. You know, I'm giving him some Yugi stuff. This is very Yugi, yeah. Yeah. Because I also, I feel like he should have that, like, I feel like we did this with, like, VTubers, but, like, one of these. Oh, mouth shirt. Ooh. Mouth shirt. Mouth shirt. Yes. That's a good instinct. I love a good hoodie shaped like a mouth. Yes. Yeah. I just... want one of those as an adult now. Yeah. Uh, this is a Raihan. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a Raihan. Who it's is? Di it's Ooh, dinosaur off. instead of. Uh, Daihan. Instead of dragon. Oh. <laughs> Dragons are just dinosaurs with wings. Yeah. That's true. Because <laughs> those didn't exist. No. No. You know what I wish in real life? What? That we could, like, like when you come of age, mm -hmm. you pick, like, an outfit. It's like your outfit, and that's just what you wear for like ever now. I mean, you can do that. No one's yeah, stopping you. Yeah, but everyone's you. gonna hate it if you do that. But if that were like the normal thing, like in an anime where you just have like, you know, oh, he's the guy with the eye patch and a shoulder pauldron. <laughs> it's Jacob, like, I want to be that guy, but in a way that doesn't suck. Jacob, we're not gonna stop you from wearing an eye patch and a shoulder pauldron. I know. I'd I'd argue that we'd probably support it. But yeah. if I go out like that, people will say he's the guy with the eye patch and the shoulder pauldron, but in like a bad way. But we live in New York. No one's gonna care after about ten minutes. 
10 minutes. That's a long time. New York time. <laughs> also, that'll just be your thing. You'll be like one of those New York cryptids. Yeah, I don't want to be that. Okay, <laughs> well. New York cryptid. You'll be there along yeah. with the guy who uh, goes around Union Square with the, the bird on his head. That uh, cryptid. Yeah, but I don't want to be that. Oh, is that a different guy from the guy with the cat on his head who yells at people? Oh, no, that's the other Union Square guy. Yeah. Let's hope they never meet. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. Oh, I'm sorry. Duel, duel, duel. duel. <laughs> Ethan, this is such a fun character. Yeah, because I'm looking at him and I'm going, well, I think I think this boy is my son now, <laughs> which means it's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's just got like a little dino hoodie. Yeah. Is he doing a claw or is he yeah, holding a card? He's doing a claw, but maybe he's also holding a card. Maybe this is how he I do love the choice of goatee. Yeah. He grabs his cards like this. Back. Yeah. With his little he does a little T Rex arms. I it's, guess T Rex uh, would only be two. Don't backpedal, but it is funny to me because he is one of the younger characters. <laughs> Well, not he, that young, well, but this, younger it's, than the mains. It's, glu these, it's glued on. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> he can't grow a beard. <laughs> oh, that's why he has the cool hood with the teeth on it, because you can't find those in adult sizes. Yeah. yeah. It sucks. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm not saying he's small. He's just young. <laughs> it's Love time to dual a dactyl. Dual a dactyl? And... This is the one where they're all on motorcycles, right? No. No, no that's 5Ds. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse yeah. me. Cut that. Because David, the five, the five cut don't cut it. <laughs> that's Yu Gi Oh GT. Stand for drive five yeah. times. Yeah. Drive, 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 drive. drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 5Ds you have to remember. <laughs> um, it's time to do, 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 drive. Drive, <laughs> drive, drive, drive. <laughs> Yeah, that's the opening theme song. <laughs> <laughs> and he's thinking about his dinosaur bone. He's th thinking about being a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. This is such a cute little guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's built different. Are you are you sure you don't know dino DNA? It's from Jurassic Park. It's from Park. Jurassic Park. Is it really yes. from Jurassic Park? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I look like a fool, the but talking... it's not a secret that I've never seen Jurassic Park. The Talking DNA. Oh, that's an actual good movie. We should watch that sometime. I know we mostly watch bad movies. And Catfish. It is fun. Yeah, Jurassic Park's a good movie. It's a really good movie. I know, I know. I just don't watch films. We'll watch it together. Let's watch it together. Okay. It's it's really good. Because he does say it a lot in the dub of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX especially, and it has become a meme <laughs> for Yu-Gi-Oh! fans. Wow. That he says, Dino DNA. Dino DNA. It's You've nailed it, Nathan. Definitely a Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, that's great. What the fuck? I love that. <laughs> Your whole world has just been blown wide open. This doesn't really surprise me because there's a lot of alarming references in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX especially. There's one character who's just Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's just Christopher Walken. He's just Christopher amazing. Walken. He just speaks in Christopher Walken's voice. <laughs> Does he talk about the time he had to carry a watch up his ass? Unfortunately not, but Damn. I'm sure if they could get that past like, you know, TV code for what about, airing on Cartoon Network, they would have. <laughs> what about more cowbell? Does he ever ask for more cowbell? I don't know because Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is very old and I don't remember when that sketch came out. Mm. Definitely before Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Uh, that would be my guess. It was in the. It was like when Will Ferrell was still a, a, yeah. a cast member. So like, that sketch probably came late nineties, early two thousands. Okay, 2000s. okay. Airing. GX is early two thousands. That's why I ask. <laughs> it's alarmingly old, but this design is fun, fresh, and great. It's <laughs> ready for a new generation. Let me fix that. <laughs> great. I right. I love my son all over again. He's just he's just thinking about bone. One bone. <laughs> I'm That's thinking the one. about bone. bone. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is him. This is the Dino Boy. Baby, and you did great. I love Ken him. Son. Are you ready to see what he really looks like, Saurus? Yes. Yes. Oh. He's so strong. <laughs> oh. He's I so love his bandana. He's uh, yeah. I wasn't gonna mislead you by saying you 
got the dinosaur mouth thing just in the wrong spot, but yeah. yeah. Well, once but I committed did, yeah. to this crazy hair, I was like, <laughs> I have to draw crazy hair on a Yu-Gi-Oh character. Yeah. But One thing I do bandana. like about Kenzan is that it's unclear if the teeth for the bandana are hair. Oh, that's fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be. Why is he like incredibly jacked? He just is. He's so strong and he's got a cool belt. Yeah. You know. I didn't want to draw legs, because... so I didn't. But <laughs> yeah. if I had, they'd be very strong. I, they would have been very strong, and, and one would, would be a dino a, leg, a cool belt. <laughs> I do like that you gave him a tail. We didn't address that. That's part of the um, the hoodie. That's part of the hoodie. Oh, I was, cute! I wasn't clear if it was a real tail, an astral tail, <laughs> <laughs> or like part of the hoodie. <laughs> That's uh, one of his secrets. All of the above. Yeah. yeah. Dino DNA. This Dino guy DNA. is really rowdy at like furry cons. <laughs> 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 I want to do a you. You do. You. Yay. Ye go. I ge go. <laughs> you ge go. I ge go. Give me character. Okay. I'm giving you a character from Vrains. Vrains. Um, <laughs> classic Yugi train wreck Vrains. And your character is Spectre. Spectre. That's his name. <laughs> Sometimes when I have too much sugar, He's my frames ghost. really mess and up. The deck that he <laughs> <laughs> the deck that he plays is Sun Avalon, oh. which are trees. They're all tree based. <laughs> it's an <laughs> <laughs> it's an archetype of female earth plant link monsters. So, tree ladies. So, this is Ronald McDonald. No. But, like, is, that scary version where he goes, Spectre. run, run, woo. <laughs> this is freaking Spectre. From no, Media. it's not. <laughs> Julia, I really thought you were going to somehow link, like, Vrains and Spectre when you started that sentence. Um, you, give me a moment. Yeah. When I have too much sugar. Nope. Give me a moment. Okay. Hold on. Moment of silence. So is this the direction you're going, Jacob? <laughs> Pro I'm probably going to change it as okay. I go here. Do you do you need more information? I I always want more information. Do you do you want to know his fun, awesome backstory and the only reason I chose him for this episode? Yes. So. When Spectre was still a baby, his parents abandoned him inside of a hollow tree at the mountain behind an orphanage. They were so close to the orphanage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took like they could have just <laughs> gone to the orphanage. It took several days after he was abandoned for the orphanage to find him. And during that time, the tree protected him from rain, wind, and wild animals. It closed its branches around the hollow where Spectre lay each time something threatened him. So he was eventually found and brought to the orphanage, uh, but like he was like a loner and only wanted to hang out with the tree. Oh. And then and then he got like kidnapped for plot reasons. And when he came back to the orphanage, he found out the tree was cut down. <gasps> no. And that's why he became a villain. <laughs> yeah. Damn. He thought of the tree as his mother. Yeah. And I get that. had a lot of hang ups about trees. Is the idea that if he hadn't been kidnapped, he would have been able to stop the tree getting cut down? Unclear. Okay. Because <laughs> it's like oh, when yeah. people want to cut down a tree, they're usually pretty gung ho about it, you know? <laughs> Just ask the one slur. Just ask the one yeah. slur. <laughs> oh, Big it's... fan of the one slur, this guy. Wait, no. Big the enemy of the... Big, he's a big, big fan end. of the Lorax. He's just... Yeah. He doesn't understand why people want to fuck the Onesler so bad. <laughs> he he wants it. to fuck the Lorax. <laughs> yeah. Not enough people want to fuck the Lorax. Yeah. He's he's a brave guy. I think we will still go with like tree hair. Yeah. It's tree on top. It's tree on top. Yeah. I guess, I guess to just add further villain shenanigans to um, his backstory further context he was kidnapped for some like project that a bunch of characters were involved in as a child where they were like essentially forced to duel and tortured and electrocuted but while as everyone 
didn't enjoy that. Spectre kind of did. He was kind of into it. He was kind of into it because it made him feel like important. And it made him feel like people were expecting things of him, which he'd never known because he was raised by a tree. Expector. Expector. Yeah. He wasn't and really raised by a tree. He was raised by a tree. I just... Expector, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. The, the fact that they drove all the way to an orphanage just to not make the final step to the <laughs> to the front door of the orphanage. They're like, oh, maybe the, just this tree, actually. <laughs> yeah, this tree is fine. This tree is fine. <laughs> I don't feel like walking up the stairs. <laughs> They'll find him in the tree, I'm sure. Yeah. Or but or maybe they won't. It's not I'm abandoning problem. this child yeah. and I don't yeah. care enough to make sure they make it safely indoors <laughs> to the orphanage. This tree's close enough. Yeah. The character I'm drawing looks nothing like a character named Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does look like... Is this one you... of the antagonists of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains? I don't see why not. <laughs> but what you described to me, this is what I imagine. He's a forest lad. Yeah. Why would he not <laughs> style himself after the trees? He does love trees. He, does, of, uh... he plays a tree deck, and when he finally loses to the main character... The main character attacks one of his trees and it's like set ablaze and he, he's like, mother, because <laughs> he, he sees his mom. Dang. Does he know that the cards are most likely made out of paper, which are made out of trees? It's okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains takes place in the internet. <laughs> oh my God. Unclear if they have real cards. That's not a suitable place for trees. Brains. Okay, wait. <laughs> I, I, I have it. Are you ready? Are you ready for my connection? You got there? Are we ready? What do specters like to eat? What? Not brains. Those are for zombies. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that I'm like happy. Yeah. Rip Nathan. He would have loved trees. <laughs> Did you know you can tell? <sighs> it's like what? Joke. What? I realized, no. I realized the goal was that I was supposed to be connecting Spectre and and brains instead. I was going to connect brains with trees. Well, go on, Do say it. it. Do you know you can tell the age of a tree by looking at its brains? <laughs> That's nothing. But it's <laughs> what does it <laughs> even mean? <laughs> the show is edited. We could have just taken it out. No. Instead, you must Keep show my in. shame, and now people are going to tweet at me too you many times. Said it. Brains doesn't. It's it's got an R. Ring, yeah. Rings. 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 You look at its rings. Its rings. <laughs> if you connect it with the actor Ving Rames, <laughs> then we'll be getting something. Yeah, right? Mr. V Rains. <laughs> <laughs> he has to stab each card in his deck with his little yeah, his stick. Little... Yeah, he throws his deck on the ground and just goes like <laughs> dueling stick. <laughs> It's like he's it's picking up fire. trash in the park. <laughs> Why is it on fire? Mother. He's cooking it. Mother. <laughs> he's going to eat it. He doesn't know what to do with it. He was raised by trees. <laughs> Before anyone tries to gatekeep me, I haven't watched Frames. I'm sorry. It's too dry for me. <laughs> but um, so I was watching, you know, like videos to kind of make sure I got my story more or less straight because I do I do know this guy's raised by a tree. It's very funny to me. Yeah. But, you know, just to get all my facts straight. So I was catching up on uh, some videos by Dylan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, who I, I've, you know, I know that guy. He's very cool. Check him out. Mm -hmm. And um, I do like people in the comment section discussing if the tree was actually sentient because oh. Spectre does believe the tree is sentient. <laughs> you can believe a lot of things can... that are stupid. <laughs> That's now, what I've learned. <laughs> now, Karina, Yeesh? you said Vrains was very dry, but in my experience, when no. I get caught in the rain, do I it. get pretty wet. Don't do it, Nathan. Stop. I did it. Nathan, stop. I don't understand. That that I don't understand. When you get caught in the virtual reality <laughs> artificial intelligence network system, you get wet? Yeah. 
With all the data. With all the data. Ew. The data makes me sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Mother. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> this is all I know about Spectre. This yeah. is all you need to know about <laughs> he just Spectre. Pops out from behind a tree. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he is very involved, but I, I personally can't get over the tree backstory. So that's what you're getting today, Jacob. I mean, I like this. What I've drawn. I think <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is a cute little guy. Okay, wait. I have another one. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> when Spectre's life gets out of control, he goes to Mother Tree and says, "Mom, take the reins." <laughs> <laughs> You did it. It was Julia. I it was a reach, but you know what? I'll accept it. That one uh, I liked better. I like I'll, that I'll, one. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll so small a person that I can't admit. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on this joke <laughs> writing journey. There's a reason I don't write jokes. <laughs> I love Feral Spectre. This is Spectre. But the real one looks nothing like this. What does he look like? Look Here like we go. Oh, oh, he's a fancy lad. <laughs> oh, what the heck? He's just a guy. <laughs> he's just, yeah, just, he's a, just a guy a in a suit. Yeah. He looks like a freaking rich scientist. Yeah, that's Spectre. If you were raised by a tree, you wouldn't look like this. <laughs> you wouldn't dress so good. <laughs> well, this... that's, it's the electro shocks that he liked. He liked yeah. the, the shocks, and so... Mine looks like it could be the kid version of this. Yeah, like which this also him. doesn't look like this, but... But in my lore... Yes. This was him, and then he became a teen and was like, yeah. I can start wearing Yeah, and then he suits. was like, I need to get a job so I can commission lots of, like, horny art of the Lorax, and so he became, like, a hacker man. It's like, I should start dressing like a weird preacher <laughs> this is what i should do Some yeah ceo <laughs> yeah, cyber preacher cyber preacher Ooh, i'm done i like this thank you this Good is job. a cute Yu-Gi-Oh design <laughs> julia do you want to go yeah. okay. okay me you go yes julia um i would like for you to draw a real Interesting scamp from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Okay. His name is Tron. Uh, AKA Vetrix. Yep, that's that's a Kingdom Hearts and a Tron world. <laughs> what is this? That, that's me. That's you notice, is that you? If you notice any side effects from using Vetrix, stop using <laughs> it immediately and consult your doctor. Unfortunately, Vetrix is not a medication. It is a single father. Um, <laughs> what? I'm drawing a dad? And his deck that he is. plays is, uh, whatchamacallit, Heraldic. His Heraldic. deck is based on the heraldy charges, which I believe has to do with Coat of arms oh. designing yes. things. So that, that works that. for you, I believe. Yes, I love that. I love medieval stuff. <laughs> I'm all about it. He does have medieval elements, yes. Um, so his whole delightful backstory is that he has three sons and there was like this all weird thing that happened. There was like this dad drama arc in Zexel where like drama. him and this other dad got betrayed by a third dad. <laughs> and like, <What? laughs> yeah, just a lot of dads like fucking around. And so he got sent to a different dimension and um, so and he was up so bad. You have to go to a different dimension. Yeah. Well, he was like betrayed by the third dad, Doctor yep. Faker, and oh, Doctor Faker got him sent to some different dimension. Should have been suspicious of Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no. And so uh, he kind of was stuck in this dimension for a while. His face got all fucked up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this guy. Yeah, well, a lot of things about him got, fucked, got up. fucked up. He's got a fucked up face, Julia. He's got a fucked up face. I don't know how to do that. I will say the part of his face that isn't fucked up, beautiful, Great. picturesque, Fan. like a doll. So he made it back to the real world, uh, but you know he's all fucked up now. Mm -hmm. He got all changed and shit, and 
now he has like weird alien powers because yeah. of, there's aliens in Zexel. Mm-hmm. And he also like makes his sons do his bidding for him now. <laughs> Zexel. And also his sons are numbers. <laughs> they're, they're named after numbers. Named after Is numbers? Yeah. Three, four, and five. Trace? Trey. Kutranada? Ah! Forsman? <laughs> Forsman. And Fivel. Uh, the, the middle one, uh, Quattro, his, his name's just Thomas, but yeah, and Quentin. <laughs> Thomas? Five. What's that have to do with four? You know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so he is a deranged dad with magic powers and three sons. And uh, he looks weird because of dimensional alien shenanigans. And alien shenanigans. He's a digital they, medieval dad. Yeah, yeah, he has the medieval elements. It's really fun. Yeah. Fun fact, um, we recorded a Yu-Gi-Oh episode that broke it broke the recording yeah and i drew this character yeah and julia doesn't remember yeah what i drew <laughs> which is great which yeah. is great because this has no recollection this looks nothing like what i drew karina gave me way more <laughs> physical yeah like i said i really led you guys with the first one so this one i'm not giving any physical description the audio of that episode survived and we made a a yeah. wonderful animation. Baby dragon. Baby dragon. Excellent Yu-Gi-Oh role play. Check it out. If you haven't already watched it, it's the best. It's, ex- <laughs> it's excellent Yu-Gi-Oh role play. Um, what was his name? Dr. Faker? Uh, that's the one who betrayed that, That's the him. bad yeah, yeah. dad. I'm I mean, just, this dad's also bad. This is but Tron. This is Tron. This is Tron. A.K.A. Vetrix. Ventrix. Also, his, his real name's just Byron. <laughs> Byron Arclight. Miniature Byron. Miniature BT Byron. BT dubs. <laughs> so, he is a miniature Byron, isn't he? Yeah, he, the dimensions <laughs> made him miniature, right? <laughs> no spoilers. Some of his nicknames include Mysterious Boy and Cinderella Boy. <laughs> He's a boy dad. <laughs> He's one of those boy dads you hear about. Oh my god. This looks a lot like a different Yu-Gi-Oh character. Uh this looks like Goodwin from 5Ds. I'm just saying this he looks he looks exactly like this other wow. character. Yeah, you're right. right. <laughs> Whoa. Julia, Julia, you just drew a different you're Yu-Gi-Oh character. A Yu-Gi-Oh character. I'm very excited. Perfectly. <laughs> A flawless execution. Yeah. Very excited to see how close you get to a completely different <laughs> guy. <laughs> I've watched Yu-Gi-Oh's Axel, but not only is it a really weird story, but I watched it, I marathoned it over the course of five days in English. Five so days. Five Ds. That's what the D stands for. <laughs> in that case, it was day, 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 day. day, day. <laughs> the story is a lot and I don't remember a lot of it clearly but I just like Tron because he's such a quirky dude (laughs) he's got all the quirks of a dad plus all the quirks of a man who was betrayed and sent into another dimension yeah a little alien alien dimension and he got like superpowers he has superpowers I made that clear right I love that the aliens (laughs) want to play cards with us yeah everybody wants to play cards yeah and it's really important to them and us. For those in the audience who don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh's Axel is just about aliens, and they want to play, play cards. Play us. cards. <laughs> but they want to do like high stakes card games. Yeah, yeah, like scary card games. They're not cool to just be like, let's just play a couple rounds. Of yeah, freaking duel monsters. Yeah, yeah. They're not we're just... gonna duel on the moon, and you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> The kill count in Zexel is like a lot. <laughs> and someone does die on the moon. Rip. Rip, rip that guy. Rip that guy. <laughs> Died on the moon. You gotta make sure Yu-Gi-Oh. you're prepared if you go to the moon. Should have played around dying on the moon. <laughs> Should have gotten a better card deck. Yeah. Should have teched for that. Didn't use the heart of the cards. Didn't use the m- card hearts. Tried to use the mind of your brain. 
And that's not good enough. That's not good enough for Yugi. Might work for Magic. Yeah. We're not playing Magic on the moon. <laughs> no. Now are we? No aliens coming to Earth challenging us to Magic or no. Pokemon. Just Yu-Gi-Oh. Just Yu-Gi-Oh. The most they important want. card game. Yeah. Yeah. Dual monsters. Yeah. It's it's because Kaiba sent cards to the moon. <laughs> Kaiba. Wait, he did though. Kaiba, <laughs> I didn't that? make that up. <laughs> Kaiba, what are you? What were you hoping was gonna happen? He said, "If there's life out there, we're gonna teach him how to duel." <laughs> no one tagged me in that clip on Twitter. I already know it. Don't do it. <laughs> no and, one tagged Karina. And and hey, while you're at it, don't tag any of us and be like, "Show this to Karina." <laughs> That's not a that's not the workaround you think it is. Yeah. No. You don't have to show me anything. I know everything. If there's a meme, Karina has seen it. Yeah, I'm very online. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. I'm just looking at images of him right now <laughs> being like, he's such a scamp. I wonder if Julia will remember my drawing after you show what... <laughs> It'll all come crashing tell back. You now? Yeah, no. Julia's not gonna remember your drawing. I, I, I got pretty close. Yeah. You, did a, you did a real good descripto. I really described the heck out of the characters in the first episode. That was a fun episode. Yeah. You did Tron. You did... It was the middle of Jacob's drawing that the video froze. Was that the one where I gave you Zork? Is, that, is Zork the one with the dragon head? Yes. Yes. Okay. In the place where a dragon head shouldn't be? Yes. On the on oh, the yeah. weenus. It's the it's the ween. And then Julia got Ubel. That's right. With dragony wings. Yeah. Dragony wings. Baby dragon. Oh, okay. So the name Tron might be because it's derived from Thronos, meaning throne in Polish and Swedish. Whoa. Ooh. I didn't know they derived things in Yu-Gi-Oh. They derive almost all everything. <laughs> it's all just a bunch of mythologies mushmash together. <laughs> mushmash. It's a mushmash. It's a mushmash. And dinosaurs. 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 Dino DNA. <laughs> it's Can't so believe funny that that's, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> I would have never known. <laughs> But most things oh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX especially are good. references. I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope more Yu-Gi-Oh! fans yeah. watch Jurassic Park as a result. <laughs> this is just a good movie. Oh. It might be my favorite movie. Tron does have a throne. I'm, I'm going through the wiki, Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki page for Tron. And there's one where Tron is sitting on his throne. It says, Tron sitting watching Tron. cartoons as his sons gather to hear Quattro's success. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask Julia what stupid way this guy holds his cards, but uh, the way the drawing looks, I imagine he clenches them between his butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the face of a clench. <laughs> yeah, he's got a clenched face. <laughs> oh, he's dad got, he's got in his mouth he has the deck in his butt cheeks and then he spits the card he's gonna use out of his mouth yes what other pictures like a printer tron <laughs> confronts mr heartland tron comforts trey just before he's rendered comatose <laughs> if you ever hi comatose don't... <laughs> i'm dad <laughs> god <laughs> Um, I I wish to be done. You are done. Yeah. Hi, done. I'm dad. No. <laughs> Hi, dead on the moon. I'm dad. <laughs> Should we show Julia who she actually drew first, or show her the real Tron? Show first? me. Show me the real guy first. Show me. Show me Tron, and then show me Tron legacy. The guy I accidentally <laughs> drew. Here he comes. Yay! Oh, oh I do is. remember him. <laughs> How could you forget? He's got a a castle turret head. Yeah, and, and he's also a cut. boy. He's a boy dad. <laughs> Just a little boy dad. Yeah. Forgot he was a boy dad. Oh, this character yeah. would have been so much better with his bowl cut. Yeah, and here's and here's his fucked up face. Oh, got oh, a wow. universe head. Yeah, he's got half a universe and half his face. Oh, I love that. 
Interesting. <laughs> and here's the guy you did draw almost exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, incredible skill. How did you draw Rex Goodwin? <laughs> well, I'm glad we got another dinosaur name. Is Rex. that Rex Raptor's dad? No. <laughs> Are you sure? No. Is it I, his love, son? I love that Rex Goodwin is also flipping me off while holding his card. Yeah, yeah. they usually do. <laughs> Sassy little devil. That's why they love to play it. You can flip off anyone you want while you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> for free. For free. Well, I'm glad you drew Rex could win. <laughs> we got four for Rex. the price of three. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, it's time for us to Yu-Gi-Go A- away from this episode. We're going to drive, 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 drive away. From this episode. From this episode. Yeah. And, and if, into the Patreon. Into the brains. Yeah. If you like this episode, do the five Ds for us and do like, <laughs> to comment, subscribe, <laughs> uh, subscribe, subscribe to our to Patreon and um, DFTBA. DFTBA. <laughs> That's our And to watch us on Twitch. 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 <laughs> watch us on Twitch. Watch us on Twitch, please. <laughs> We're Dwari. <laughs> Dwari. Dwari. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> Yug. Yug. <laughs>